in Florida, I think since 75. It's a commemorative um, boat race that's reenacting the Spanish invasion of Florida. But most of us don't know it for that because they got it under the name of some yacht club and as if it's just a um, social event for rich people to drive their yachts up the river, which is not the case. It's the reenactment of the Spanish invasion. When we uh, Ponce de Leon in 1513 was the first one to reach Florida and, and start the fight with the in the Keys with the natives, right? On his heels, the Soto came between 1539 and 1542, and we fought him and whooped his ass and his people, right? This is what gave us Gator Bait, right? Then you had uh, Menendez de Avales in 1565, um, they they set up the first city in Florida, which was the first settlement, right? And we used to ride crocodiles like skateboards through the um, Everglades. You used to be able to go, go on crocodiles from Florida to Louisiana without ever leaving swamp. Most... <coughs> <coughs> Most of the swamps have since been altered by terraforming, invading forces, using engineers to um, fill in uh, wetlands with sand that they took from other parts of the land and to chop down trees all across the land. The trees were such a pariah and a hindrance to the invading forces that they were setting whole forests on fire. You can drive 75 south through Florida and still see the charred remains of trees jetting out the waters that they had burned down years ago. They still there. Right? The crocodiles were um, sacred to Sobek, the priest. But the crocodile was also sacred to Big Mama. When you look at Ta'ert Ta or Tawaret, you'll see that she has the spine of a crocodile. And she looked like a hippopotamus, but she got the memories of a woman. These is the sacred animals that's sacred to Big Mama. The crocodile gave us a gold liquid, it's a cerebral spinal fluid, that the Big Mama was used to use to anoint the uh the children when they was born and give them their names in the naming ceremony this is what the whole anointing and rubbing the head with oil all that was part of anointing you and tying you to your spiritual ancestor that's going to help guide you through this lifetime <clears throat> and from there you're going to learn what your life purpose was and that's how that's how you find out right so, um, the gators wouldn't eat us. So, what they started doing is they would start slashing babies till they was bleeding, throwing the babies into the crocodile's mouth with his mouth open and to get them to start eating the babies, right? Because the adults, um, was unsavory to the gators. So they whew, they started with the kidnapped babies they were stealing to chum the waters and to agitate the alligators to bite humans. That's not normal in the Sobek priests. You still got tribes. All you got to do is look up crocodile or alligator tribes and they'll show you people where alligators don't even meet them. Crocodiles don't even meet them. Different parts of the world, different people. It might be one person and one crocodile or one alligator, but that's the remnant of the past being played out in the present. Everything that we've ever experienced is some kind of strata showing us what it is. 
Nothing new under the sun. No. So, <clears throat> I think that's all I got for tonight, y'all. So, I hope this was informative enough for y'all to understand that the men of God attract very powerful enemies. And the more active you is in doing God's work, the more powerful the enemy that you will be faced with that's coming to interfere with your progress. Whew. A lot of us are um, weary from the struggles that we've been through. But we expected the struggles to be difficult and to navigate this shit to be complicated and hard. So my job is to try to clarify these murky waters as much as possible using the light codes that Elijah Muhammad and Malachi York gave me in order to allow y'all to see as deep as I can see within the confines of the oppressive nature of the old regime and to see the horizon, the new beginning that's springing up in front of us and a lot of us still overlooking it we still trying to carry on as business as usual and it's not business as usual. The Federal Reserve had the land divided into 13 regions based off 13 banks. 12 of them are numbered. The one that's not numbered is in DC. Ain't that something? That way you ain't never supposed to know that it was 13 central bank that divided your land up that if the bankers win, that would be the new territory layout according to the banks. They lost too. We know that the banks came in off the IBF and the World Bank using 32 degree Scottish right banking systems of the Royals of Europe. We already know that. We already seized their shit. We know that they that the certificate for the gold surplus of Big Mama was being kept in the Philippines and that we sent Donald J. Trump as the commander-in-chief to go over there and get our shit. Since they want to use them in the office of the interim government, we can he can work for us when we clean this shit up. When you play this shit in reverse, the real last president name was George. But you had transitional presidents along the way. Obama and Trump. But if you go back to the beginning, 1776, and you don't got no president into the Constitution named George, but before that, you had interim presidents. Now, look at the time frame between the Continental Congress and the United States Congress. It's like 13 years. You do the math. Obama got elected in what? 2008? 2007 right and 13 years take you to 2020 then 2020 is the fall of the cabal and the um, beginning of the military um, purging and tunnel raids all that started January 6 2020 is 13 years so the same thing you see coming out you had to see coming in in order to match that shit up Right, and so when we got to Article 77 of the Iroquois Confederation, it said that I had the right to serve an eviction, but I had to first wait to see if another chief that was qualified, um, that was part of the five civilized tribes, was going to perform the function. Once they wasn't performing the function, then they got to push me in off the left bump. And then I perform the function. We go about our business. And ain't no hard feelings. I just knew how to do something that somebody else didn't know how to do. And the ancestors say that one who knows is obligated to lead. Believe me, I hate this social media shit. The only thing I don't mind doing is teaching. But I hate social media with a passion. I hate being trapped in a cave with a passion. I hate being estranged from my children with a passion. But... 
Somebody had to take the sacrifice in order to liberate the people by educating the minds of the masses. And the, the internet serves a uh, function for a campaign of information dump to clarify the murky waters and allow you to see using the light codes what you was denied to know, right? Look, go to Google, type in the most dangerous black woman in America. Just do it. Now what, this is the same time she was around the same time with Rosa Parks, but she didn't get no airplay and then ask herself why. They were scared to death of the sister. I ain't gonna even tell y'all her name. I'm gonna let y'all look her up. Most dangerous black woman in the history of America. And why did they call her that? They knew that sooner or later, the matriarchs was gonna begin to wake up. And women like that, women like Fannie Lou Hamer, like Mary McLeod Bethune, are antagonistic and belligerent to their system. They really want to shut them up, especially Fannie Lou. They wanted to shut her up so bad, but the problem is, is you can't shut up a motherfucker that's right telling the truth, because then you're going to incur the wrath of God, right? So they couldn't shut her up. All they could do is just sit there and watch and hope that we don't pay her no attention. God damn, you put her name in there, Lucy Parsons. <laughs> Oh, I ain't know nobody gonna do it before I was still on here. Uh, yeah, Lucy Parsons is her name. She was a bad mofo. But anytime one of the sisters begin to become aware of just by meeting with, you don't even have to do a whole lot. All you have to do is come together with no agenda and just be gra have gratitude that you with your sisters and that energy changes shit fast on earth that's the source that's the cold activation of the earth energy and the restoring of the matriarchy is for women to start congregating with no agenda other than the children or how to you know feng shui stuff like that but no actual agenda, no purpose. Just come together because we love being sisters together, fixing the problems that we have. Help each other put y'all blinds up, you know, decorate, shit like that. That energy signature tells the earth, everything's going to be all right. And... Once the earth realizes everything going to be all right, it can go on and shift into the new age energy. The old energy is dead. Now we got to go through this. Uh, I don't know what a catalyst is going to be, but it, it's going to be a sudden explosion. Boom. All of a sudden, all of these sisters is going to say, we back. We got our shit. We here. And then you're not going to be able to stop the frenzy to follow because it's going to be rooted in that love energy and a lot of women just going to bust out and be dancing all over the place. You're going to be in Walmart having a dance everywhere you look, sisters dancing. Well, why is all these women dancing like this? They can't help it. It's the energy shift. When they get their shit back, that celebratory energy is infectious, it's contagious, and it's unstoppable. And the last time they had the Salem witch hunts to stop it and tried to kill off every woman that was dancing. This time it's not allowed because it's daytime. Daytime is up. Her time is now. He told his story and it was all a big lie. Now it's her turn to tell her story and her story is going to always be a love story because that's all she want to do is love. She just love to love for no reason. Me, I want to fight, but I'd rather turn my war story into a love story because that's where I find my greatest peace. And um, I think I done 
blabbered my mouth long enough. I hope I was able to give y'all some jewels in this mug, but y'all learned something. Everything is working how it's supposed to work. And as soon as we get out of this religious bullshit and get into the frequency of this love energy and gratitude, if you don't know what the love energy feel like, just get in the energy of gratitude, grateful, thankful. And that energy shift in individuals, the more we can get to shift into the gratitude, that's telling the universe, that's telling Mother Earth, that's telling the sun, look, we won, we happy, we victorious, bring it on now, we grateful. That gratitude changes. That's all you got to do. You, it's it's, it's going to be something so simple. We ain't going to even know what it is until it happens. It's going to be something so simple and all of the women going to click. And when they click, we go back to heaven on earth. And if you niggas ain't did your self work, all I can do is say I feel for you. <laughs> it's just a big white note. <laughs> Yeah. So um, I'm going to wrap it up here S Share the video If y'all want to um, And just Anticipate A big ass party That shit coming Mardi Gras from coast to coast Imagine what that shit going to feel like Think about it Let it sink into your mind That your subconscious Can send that shit up to the universal egregore the great collective unconscious because soon as enough people in the unconscious to become aware that we not finna have no nuclear holocaust no full thermal meltdown and we finna go into the golden age for the next gen seven generations we finna teach these children how to be their best self and to create the best life for their children it's over but we got to shift the paradigm now the old system is dead. Now we have to shift the paradigm into the new energy. That's what the hold up is. Moving into the new energy. The new frequencies. It's the, it don't happen instantly. Just like even if you cook an egg, it cooks pretty fast. But it's not instant. You still have to wait till it get from raw egg to the part of done that you want to eat it. It's coming. Now, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I do know it's a couple of key factors, right? Keep eye on uh, the security for dignitaries coming to America and look for the bow ties because they the ones going to have a contract from the matriarchy to secure the diplomats and the VIPs of the land and the chiefs. And... We got, Larry Hoover got to give us a report. He got to come and tell us what's been going on on the land for the last 500 years since we've been at war and if, in fact, the war is over. That all got to be announced by the chairman of the board. Whether he like it or don't like it, whether he want the job or don't want the job, it don't matter either way to me. I'm just here to tell y'all who's responsible for what, who been putting in the work, um, show y'all the people putting in the work so y'all can see the work they doing because some of the people y'all wasn't aware of some of them y'all are aware of and some people are aware of some and not others and vice versa but we, this was not no one man struggle this was a relay race with multiple chiefs involved over a prolonged period of a protracted struggle between strategists and people who was going out into the field applying non-aggressive tactics to overcome the enemy. And as the pretenders to the throne, all of the rightful heirs are poised to receive what's rightfully theirs, not because they doing anything wrong to anybody, but just because it was already they shit to begin with and others didn't want them to have it and was trying to steal it from them by making them not know who they was and making them believe they was from somewhere else to cause them to surrender their natural born birthright 
in their rightful positions on the land. And with this eight year, as Lady Erica say, of abundance and karma, let the karma serve the abundance to the abundant ones and let her serve the torture to the wicked. She got everybody get what they rightfully earned by karma. She don't care. She not going to take sides. She not going to treat the good, bad, and the bad, good. She going to treat the good, good, and she going to treat the bad, bad. And the ones that stuck in the middle, she going to treat them like they stuck in the middle. And it ain't nothing personal, and she don't care one way or another. <laughs>